Gorilla Grodd. Alter Ego, none. Occupation, would-be world conqueror. Known relatives, Baka. Wife, separated. Group affiliation, none. Base of operations, Gorilla City, Africa. First appearance, The Flash. First series, number 106. April, May, 1959. Height, six foot six inches. Weight, 600 pounds. Eyes, gray. Hair, black. History. Grodd's grotesque appearance belies his strange powers and capabilities. In reality, this gorilla is one of Earth's greatest scientific geniuses and a strategic mastermind who has on numerous occasions nearly conquered Earth. In the mid-19th century, an alien spacecraft plummeted from the sky and into the African veldt. There it was found by a tribe of gorillas who discovered two things within the ship, a strange infant-like alien being and a multicolored gem-like device. When touched, the gem-like device scattered beams of light in all directions, light that touched each and every gorilla present and immediately began a process that would accelerate their mental evolution a thousandfold. A particularly concentrated beam struck two of the apes, Solovar, the tribe's respected leader, and Grodd, his opposite number, a warped and twisted being capable of great evil. Both apes were imbued with special telepathic and telekinetic abilities. Within three years, the apes could communicate as easily as humans. Within ten, their grasp of science and technology had far outstripped that of humans. Having come to worship the alien being whose device had made their advancement possible, the apes began constructing a city of their own, a futuristic megalopolis deep in the heart of the jungle. Unbeknownst to them, however, their alien benefactor felt trapped by the apes, who revered him so much that they would not let him out of their sight. In order to escape, the alien used his own telepathic powers to probe the surrounding jungle. Finding two explorers, he prodded them towards the city, and the two men discovered the Gwilla's strange civilization. The explorers were taken in by Solovar so that the Gwilla's might better understand the humans who ruled planet Earth, and to whom the Gwilla's were planning to reveal their existence. Astounded by what they saw, the two men were most surprised by the alien benefactor, who told them in secret of his desire to escape, a desire accelerated by the fact that the alien had learned that Grodd, the evil gorilla, had plans to kill him and take his place as the ruler of Gorilla City. Under the alien's command, the explorers left Gorilla City, leading most of its citizens to believe that they kidnapped their benefactor. It was at this point that Grodd, using his own telepathic powers, executed a masterstroke of strategy. In full view of the gorillas, he fought on the explorers to gun down the alien in cold blood. He was caught and killed by the apes. His partner escaped, only to be thrown into a mental institution by doctors who refused to believe his tale of a city of gorillas. Meanwhile, Solovar played into Grodd's hands. Now wary of all humanity, he ordered Gorilla City shielded from view by a screen of invisibility. This allowed Grodd the luxury of planning his coup without the interference of humans. Though it took several decades, Grodd eventually made good on his plans to conquer his people using force of mind, a method of telepathic mind control that he had gleaned from Solovar's brain. Fortunately, Solovar was able to contact the American hero Barry Allen, better known as the Second Flash, who thwarted Grodd's plan to conquer the Earth with a battalion of Gwilla soldiers. Over the years, Grodd returned to Battle Flash countless times, once even using an evolution accelerator to transform himself into a human being in the hope of working more subtly and surreptitiously. Nevertheless, each time he has struck, he has been defeated by Flash and other heroes, always being returned to Gorilla City for imprisonment. Powers and Weapons In addition to his natural telepathic abilities, Grodd possesses the power known as Force of Mind, which allows him to mentally control other beings, to transform matter, to project powerful mental attack beams, and even to transfer his own consciousness into other bodies. Moreover, he possesses great physical strength, far exceeding that of an ordinary gorilla. He is a scientific genius who has mastered Gorilla City's advanced technology and who has created many incredible inventions of his own.